Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. We're going to learn how to clean up your data and share in PowerPoint in this lesson. So let's get right to it. So basically, what is cleaning your data? When you clean your data, basically what you do is make it more presentable. A lot of times what happens is that you're in a meeting or maybe you're a student who wants to present um, an analysis to your classmates or to your office members or colleagues. So what you might want to do is make sure your data is more presentable. So let's get right to it and see how we can do it. Over here, let's go to our typical swap file. And as you can see, you have our previous analysis over here of our gender, age, and how it works. And we already know that. So what I want to do is to make this more presentable. The first thing that I want to work around is going to edit and over here, we have the option of popping special reset all filters, reset visible filters. But right now we're gonna work around with our titles. So when you double click on a title, you make it more organized and you can edit it. So right now what I want to do is edit this title to make look uh, more professional. So maybe what I want is to make this title um, facility type magnitude okay you've got that right i think rate per age is fine for this one and as you can see when you double click on your data title it labels it as auto title because what happens is that typical spot fire automatically detects what you want so basically i don't want it to look like sum of rate i just want it rate by gender I think that looks good. So as you can see, the first step of cleaning your data is to edit your titles, of course. And in your visualization, you also have the option of canvas styling. Now, this is something I really love to do, and that is to go from the light canvas styling to the dark. It looks more professional and graphic to me. And that's just a personal opinion. However, you can work around that. So right now, as you can see, we've got these options over here. And uh, another thing that we can work around with is our basic legends. So what I want is to go in our appearance and we have the option of making the orientation by horizontal bars or vertical bars. That's something we can work around. Horizontal bars look like this and then vertical bars. However, I think this suits me. And it's fine. So let's just make it um, our uh, horizontal bars. Maybe that looks good because right now we're cleaning our data and we want to work around them. Another thing that we might want to do is remove uh, the displays of the legend. So maybe what I don't want is the data limiting and to see all these options over here. I want it completely free and when i close as you can see my data over here does not have the legends it looks pretty clean the same uh, thing i might want to try over here i might want to go to the settings okay there's one thing you need to learn and which is right clicking and you have the option of going from to the properties from here as well also you can click uh, on the options over here as well so you have to work around them and see what suits you so over here as well, let's go to our legend. Maybe what I don't want to do is uh, display the data limiting. And uh, yes, I think that works. So as you can see, um, I want to know the information for the tree map and the different colors. So I think that's fine. The maximum values and the minimum values can be seen on the tree map. So let's close that. Now for the rate and the data limiting, I don't want to see the markings. So I'll go to my legend and I'll go over here. And in here, I have the option of selecting trellis. So if I close the trellis, uh, I don't want to close the color by, of course. And I close the show hide, I close the data limiting. So I have this. 
So as you can see, when you go to your viewing, your data looks much more organized than it looked while you were making it. So that is basically how you clean your data. Of course, you can play around with the different options, but this was basic visualization and how you clean your data in your data analysis. The next thing that we might want to do is to export this file to our PowerPoint. So right now, when we go to our file options, we have the visualizations to the image, we have visualizations to PDF, data to file. But what we want to concentrate on is our Microsoft PowerPoint. When we click on the Microsoft PowerPoint, we have the option for an open presentation. We have the option for a new presentation. We, I would select an option for an open presentation and uh, an active page for each visualization. So that's just my preference. You can toggle around and see what you want. So let's just export this and see what happens. Right now, it's giving me the option to export uh, the PowerPoint for three pages. So we've got right to it. And as you can see, when I open PowerPoint, I have my page facility type magnitude. I have my page rate for age and I have my page for rate by gender. And as you can see, uh, like it's an, you can edit it and there are different options for this as well. Like I can remove this. So it's pretty much editable and you can work around with the options. So I hope you've understood how to use your uh, data analysis and how to clean it up, how to bring it to PowerPoint and how to work around it. And I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.